Mark, you better get that thing. Dude. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are fishing with Christian and Mark. First time uh, fishing with them in a hot minute. They're up from Houston, normally fishing the salt. We just took them to a spot or two around here, and actually things were looking grim to start off, and then we catch an absolute tank. It started on the bank, ended on the John boat, man. So we got an exciting full day around Dallas Fort Worth for you guys, and we're actually unboxing a little something to start the vlog off with. We uh, did the fishing earlier today, so I'm doing an intro a little out of the box. Uh, if you hear me, sent us a little something. I don't know what it is. Texas is everyone's everywhere. Everyone's everyday beer. Okay, okay. Looks like some beer goodies. I see a koozie. I got you. A couple cans of the goods to try, man. What does it say? Garage premium lager. Let's go ahead and hop into today's episode. It's an absolute thriller, man. Probably 20, 30, 40, 50 fish. I don't even know at this point. We'll see you there in a second. First part of the day, man. We are out here with the crack and craw to start. I think I got 20 pound fluorocarbon here, muscle rod. Four out hook, quarter ounce tungsten, and a little crawfish bait to start. Let's see what the guys are doing. I think they got about the same. T rig creature bait. Got a little chatter bait right here. It could just be lights out, or maybe we'll fish all day and won't catch nothing. You'll know soon enough. Got one. There we go. He's barely hooked, but I got him a good little gash. Shoo! Nice. Yeah. First one. He's probably, he's kind of right there in the middle, so yeah. it's tough. To, it's a tough crankbait situation, yeah, yeah, but. No, I, I got it. <laughs> I'm trying to ride the line, thread the needle. Thread <laughs> the needle. That's <laughs> funny. All right, well, creature bait secure in the first catch of the day, y'all. Thank goodness. We were about to leave empty handed. I, in fact, I even said we were about to leave, and then we decided to make a few more casts. So if I threw you off there, I <laughs> gotcha. Okay, we're really making the move this time. Roll out. Wait, uh, rig it up wacky or what? I would just do a weightless Texas rig, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would in that case. Because you will you can work through the grass way better. And uh, I guess maybe the fall's a little different, but that's how we were tearing them up here. Was actually weightless Texas rig. All right, gang, spot number two. Let's try and put a herd on them. Wow, this is absolute chocolate milk, isn't it? Got him. Good one. Got a good one. There we go. Come on, he's swimming in the grass now. Uh-oh, that's not good. There we go. Did not take long on the bandito bug. Ladies and gents, spot number two pulling through. Whoo, that's a three pounder. I don't know how much over, but that's a three right there. That's why they call it sprayed lettuce. Don't forget to check the description on that one right there. Oh my gosh. Solid coach. Did you? As soon as I release it, Christian says he just got hit too. He's throwing a weightless Texas rig. He's doing a, a Sanko. I think it's like a natural, probably five or six inch worm. Rocking and rolling, man. Sprayed lettuce does not disappoint. If you guys haven't grabbed any of these, check the description, man. Get you at least 20 packs. I'm telling you, the bite has been ferocious this spring and going into summer. As things are heating up, the bite's heating up. The bandito bugs are heating up. I'm telling you what, the stocks are heating up. I don't know if y'all are checking the AMC deal right now, but, but it is pretty stained out here. So this color, I'm telling you, in clear water we've been catching them, and in stained water, it's, it's got almost a little bit darker and stands out just as well. It's got that natural green, but with that purple flake and shimmer. So it's really almost like the perfect all-purpose color. I get questions in the DMs all the time about what's the best color for clear or stained water. This is honestly a color you could throw in either, and you're gonna catch fish. So I highly recommend the newest color to the lineup, man. Sprayed lettuce, you gotta get in on some of those if you wanna catch some bass this year. Got them on. Christian's on now. Love to see it. Oh, and we got a bite, but it is a bluegill. That bite is ferocious, man. Oh, I see bluegill eating the line too. Look at this. Look at this. It's going crazy. It's going ham. Oh, it's going ham. Oh my gosh. Look at that sunfish. How did I get him on this four out hook? They almost always get away. I knew it was not a bass with the way it was biting right there. Wow. That, that just happened. Dude, we doubled up with different species right there. Oh, and he's off to the races, boys. See you, bud. I might have one. <laughs> I think I got another little sunfish. Oh no, it's a bass. Bass number three, I believe for me. Fourth fish of the day. We're sitting pretty good, but we have got a lot to look forward to, man. 
This is not the last spot we're going to be hitting with Mark and Christian. I think we are going to be in for a treat as the sun starts to set later. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. I mean, it doesn't get too dark for these GoPros until like practically 9 p.m. So I don't know what they're up for, but look, they're in town and we are trying to catch some fish. So we might end up breaking out some kayaks or John boats later. I don't even know. There's a lot on the table. I would say we could take the hot tamale out, but I don't even think it's charged. We haven't broken the boat out, the big bass boat in like a month. I've never caught anything over here, but this pond looks pretty cool. I might try it a couple minutes. I was gonna say, there's no guarantees on catching anything here, but now there's definitely a guarantee that we won't. Because of this dude? I think so. Yeah. Hey. Uh, there's no fish in the lab over here. At this pond here? At any of them? Do you know of any cl close ones by that are, or no? Got it, got it, got it. All right then, appreciate you. Well, we just got kicked out. Yeah, city ponds, I guess. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think this is the spot. I might've taken you to Adriatica or something. So same thing here, just, just work the walls basically. And if they're not hitting it after a while, we'd switch it to a crank and cast 45. Um, either one of these sides. Either, we'll, we'll end up going that way, but let's kind of hit this whole zone in here just to see if they're in this like, sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my first one. Got him, first one, spot number three. Good fish right off the bat. Good fish right off the bat. Mark, first cast, bro. Already got to get him. You know it normally doesn't happen like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, man, just got here, got lucky. You got lucky. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, man, we're gonna let you go. On to the next one. See you, bud. Sick, man, three pounder. Right off the bat. Give it first. Yeah. Yeah. I got another. Mark. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Ain't no way that just happened. Two fish back to back, man. Hitting the city spot. What on earth is even going on? Live music, man. It's a good day. See you, bud. <laughs> that was pure luck so that was the, that was next cast uh i i hit the first one here the second one against that got him number three dudes that was so insane first and second cast and we got another sizable one right there in the books see you bud Craziness. Bandito bug putting in work. Clear water, stained water. You already know the deal. Uh, yeah, I've got it on video. I'm, I, I've got lucky so far today. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. I love some urban fishing. I don't know about you guys. That was the smallest one of the day. No, I caught a small one earlier. I think we're on seven fish for the day now. Holy cow. What just happened? What is even going on? I should definitely retie, but I'm having too good a time. Uh, three so far. Been, uh, largemouth bass. Do you ask what we're catching? Yes, sir. Yeah. That was a good one when you first got here. Man. Dude, thank you. I got lucky on yeah, that for sure. <laughs> Doesn't happen. I don't know. <laughs> I've got the bass for hook set. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a monster hook set. Christian got a nice one for him. All right, Team Houston's in the house. They're definitely on the bottom bait bite along the wall, but maybe we could key in on a little extra. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Traffic might be heavy. I wonder if we should leave soon. All right, if, if there's no fish here, I quit. Got him. I found the secret. You just gotta walk backwards along the wall. <laughs> oh man, this one's a little spotted out here. A lot of on the bandito. We're trying our hardest to get Mark a catch. He's had bites, he's had hits, and just getting unlucky with the uh, the hookups. Holy cow, this thing was not coming off. I literally was just walking backwards with it. There we go, okay. He's two something probably, but uh, nothing gonna break the records. Get him back in there. First fish in actually a little bit. For me, barely had any line out and I was just kind of walking back with it. Whoa. We're pulling those 2021 tactics. We're cheaters out here. We have outsmarted the average bank fisherman. <laughs> Look, you only need to make one cast per day. Never backlash, just, just drop a little line and you just 
you just lock it and you just lock it and walk it <laughs> that's all you gotta do what up gang this is christian and mark jimmy, jimmy the gang good to meet you jimmy so, we're gonna go to my place because we want to try to beat the traffic <sighs> all right probably tomorrow guys hey, I, I left a lot of them for y'all so yeah <laughs> um there's the goods they love this color here locked and loaded i'm gonna put this in the right position so she's ready to go as soon as we step on the deal We'll see how this goes. Three people on the Johnny for the first time ever. I think it's gonna be a good old fashioned time. Oh yeah, you gotta get used to how unstable this thing is. She ain't no skiff. You gotta pray on this thing. <laughs> I think we're in the money. Have y'all been on a John boat on the channel before? You know. Well, we paid just over a thousand bucks, so. <laughs> Nothing like a full battery. <laughs> I'd probably recommend just starting with the, the Texas rigs. Mark, if you wanted to throw the swim bait and test it out, Y'all can go kind of head to head and see what they're gonna hit first. Yeah, so yeah, set the hook on that bad boy because it's kind of like tech exposed, almost like the T rig. Yeah, yeah frog might be really good here in a little bit. I mean, potentially now, but I, I would assume a little bit later. Oh, oh, bluegill. There we go. Bring them home. First one in the John boat on the channel. Okay, I got you hooked up, Mark. You're gonna like this rod in comparison. One y'all hit this too, cause there might be something on that. I was about to say yes, sir. Yeah. Is he taking drag? I wonder if it's loose. I don't, oh my God. I don't know if it's loose or not. Oh my God. Yeah. Hook him up with the land. <laughs> Mark, you better get that. <laughs> that is a take, bro. That is a take. Oh my God. Made it happen. Girl. Get the scale out. Get oh, scale. girl. Look at them eyeballs. <laughs> Dude, when he took some drag, oh. I was like, oh. I was the same. Wow. <laughs> wow. You caught it, bro. When I cast it there, all right I got was bluegill. There. All I got was bluegill. Dude. Same flip. <laughs> that. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, man. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Holy moly. Look at this girl right here. There it oh. is. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, five five. <laughs> Son, I'm sorry. That was your PB. That's his PB. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So y'all, we were trying to get Christian out here to catch his new PB, which is just about four and a quarter. Here we are at five pounds, five ounces later. Yeah. We told y'all Mark was holding out on us. Solid Look at that pig. fatty. Here we go. Further release, y'all. Oh, this girl has been such a good sport. Chilling. Look at them eyeballs. Come on, show me something. Show me what you there want. She goes. There she goes. <sighs> yes, bro. Holy moly. All right, I gotta start casting. All right, here we go. <laughs> Good call. He's, he's thanking me. He's the one who cast it over there. <laughs> you better check that line. I don't know if it's frayed, dude. He, that thing almost got away from you. When not 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 here. Drag. That thing when, when it started, started taking drag, drag I yes. was worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, because you got him right off the log. So it's like, that could have been game over. Wow, what a day! What a treat and a reward to go fish in half the ponds in DFW to break out the John boat on a last minute whim and actually get a big <laughs> old fish, y'all. Oh man, see y'all got to get a John boat now. <laughs> we should have got a John boat. Y'all can go ahead roast me in the comments. I should have got a John boat. Stop playing with the skiffs. Let, let's see what happens. Ooh, brother, I got the adrenaline going, man. That was good. That was beast night. mode. <laughs> Holy moly. And it was just like thump, thump. And I was like, okay, I think that's one. Oh, stupid bluegill. And then next thing you know, okay, the bluegill's taking my thing and just, oh, I just let her have it, man. I don't fish with big rods like this. Two complete different worlds, that is for sure. We're ultralight finesse fishermen out there in shore Texas, coastal type stuff. And then here you need some muscle. You need that backbone. And that's what this rod provided us to uh, muscle her out of that stump. And goodness gracious, when the drag went, wow. Just nothing short of amazing. I can't even do this, I I'm shaking. <laughs> Let's continue on. The Texas rigs are gonna be good here. Hey, one of y'all, one y'all hit this real quick. Where is it? Okay. One of y'all hit that. That's you that's probably hit. that's probably worth it. This tree. Got him, dude. You do. You got another good one. You got another good one. What is happening? Just flip him up here. Just flip him up here. <laughs> Yo. Oh, now I'm jealous. Three, three, four. Something that's that's three something. We just don't know how high. 
So. That's, do we do we weigh it or do we just assume? No, no. <laughs> right, here we go. So they're liking the reeds, but the big ones are hanging out in the trees, the it trees. seems. All right. <laughs> sassy on me. You say Weston throws this goog and <laughs> so I figured I'd tie one on, and lo and behold. <laughs> well, in the second half of the game, someone has decided they're going to turn up and catch all the big fish for us. We just sit back and watch. Oh, uh oh, saucy swimmer, saucy swimmer <laughs> coming through in the shallows. Just when you thought you'd caught all the little ones. Let's see you, bud. Easy on the paint, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sore from all these hook sets. <laughs> this is a little um, long for me because see that? Yeah. Like it'd be nice to have it a little, but what you do is you'd have your, you'd have your spool open and the bait like in the close to the reel handle and you give it a little fling and you can just kind of like if there's not room to cast or if you're trying to be real soft with it so off of off of this we almost always catch one i, I would I'm, i would bank on if y'all get as close to that grass as possible we'll get something here now bo both get in there just yeah 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 just that, that was like an island but the water's so far up so it's almost like a big pile of wood right there there we go, Son. There we go. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> you got it. The island pays dividends. <laughs> oh wow. Christian with a little donkey. Oh god. Woohoo! First double up of the evening, ladies and gents. I tell you what, it feels good when a plan comes together. You know, when you got some friends from out of town, you always want to take them to a couple spots and see if you can't put them on some good fish. And typically, <laughs> you have some bad luck, at least my experience. So I'm actually thrilled we were able to catch a couple sizable fish this evening, man. We're gonna get this one back in the water. First double up with Christian though. He just got on a decent one himself. And we're gonna see if we can't get a few more before sunset, man. We still got some time out here. We might catch another absolute tank. Y'all stay tuned. I'll let y'all come in here and hit this for sure. Get in there. Oh. No. Oh. oh. That's a bass. There we go. Oh, he's he's probably two pounds. Solid. He's got some fight. <laughs> I think he's only two, but he's just fighting. He's pulling good. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, shoot. All right, there we go. That's definitely two. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> okay, we'll take that right out of the trees, man. Woo! Hoping to get a couple more before sunset. We did make it happen. Look at this guy dripping. T rig, baby. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. Perfect. All right, let's roll. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We got the John right back here in the garage. Barely fits, man, with all the goodies in here. I got this pedal drive kayak just chilling it should be at the hq on the trailer and then we got a couple extra kayaks in the driveway out here the boys just picked up a brand new can i tell them mark yeah, yeah. okay so he just got himself a brand new salt water certified salty pdl 120 that's the 12 foot salt water pedal drive kayak by old town canoes you guys know we love old towns we got one sitting right here by my feet we got two more at the hq they've also got an autopilot on the truck man this thing is rigged and ready i, I want to learn more about your truck setup to be honest because it's it's a thing of beauty. Uh, we're always hauling around a trailer. You guys know us. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We caught some absolute tanks. You guys have got to go check out Mark and Christian's socials down in the description. Uh, sorry for the dim lighting on the outro. We decided to do everything at the end of today's video. So we got the intro and outro right here in the garage. Until the next one, y'all, maybe you'll catch us outside the garage. Peace.